Hello, Cedric and Cedric here, CRS in the commentary, answering another viewer question. Does size still matter in pro wrestling? This comes from Zemo Times 2. And he said, in responding to the last one about my top 10 moves, he says, good list. He says, I have a question myself. I just responded to a prick who thinks someone like Gresham cannot get over because of his size, and I am so sick of wrestler is small and therefore cannot get over BS. So my question is this, does size still matter in pro wrestling? And the answer is to an extent, to be honest. Okay, someone like Gresham, is he short? Yeah, is he small? No. And what Gresham does that people don't get is Gresham legitimately uses his size to a great advantage. And it has been exploited how it can be a disadvantage. Taking massive suplexes and uh, you know other throws and things like that. I mean, you're small. They can manhandle you at points. And he, tries to, he uses a technique so that he doesn't have to worry about all that too much if he can stay away from it. And quite honestly, that's the beauty of professional wrestling. That's different styles techniques how do you work the match you know now there are people out there that the side that are the size of marco stunt should they be in pro wrestling it's not a matter of obligation because that's what should basically correlates to obligation but can they be yes is it best that they're in there with somebody that's like you know average wrestler height and and size no no, it's not. They don't, I don't think they need to be in there with, you know, exceedingly under height people, little people. But there's a category for them. And honestly, when it comes to them, things should be different. You know, the, not separate, but equal. No, different, but equal. You know, a giant in wrestling like Andre. You know, uh, Baba, Paul White, you know, Kali, Undertaker, Kane, Hogan, these six foot eight and taller people. All right. That they keep in mind, they were the attraction. Those are the ones you see from time to time. You might see them once or twice a month people will pay out the wazoo to see someone that damn big and it was sort of like women can women go throw down and and all that yes but they were an attraction as well and then as i learned the steroid case happened and to push away all the big men you have to push in the smaller guys. Brett, Sean, Honky Tonk Man, Jim Neidhart, Brutus Beefcake, people that size. Owen Hart and what? Yeah, you have to push in people that size. But it didn't necessarily end the steroid stuff. So there's plenty of room for smaller wrestlers. You know, Gresham ain't first. Look at Taz. What is he? I think 5'9"? Uh, that's... Yeah, but that's... Rey Mysterio Jr. 5'3"? Okay, so you get into something else that I want to get into. So generally, when it comes to professional wrestling, um, these companies, they're all size queens. They want them big. They want them beefy. That's it. Um... But now, if they're small, they're flippy floppy. That's they have to flip, they have to fly, they have to sail, they have to uh, jump off the top turnbuckle to the top rope. S a i l, not s e l l. Sail. Oh, sorry. Yeah, to the rafters, do a, a triple gainer, twisting head first into the center of the ring. That's what they got to do if they're small. I would say the difference with Gresham is he is small in height 
he's you know he's got a fine his physique is fine you know and he was putting on muscle but he's a technical wrestler that's what there's no room for you have to be a big dude with power moves and slams and suplexes and throws or a small dude that's leaping and flipping all over the place technical wrestlers never got a break never got a break to the fans in this country yes in this country that's that's where the problem is so if you know gresham wants to continue to excel he's gonna have to go back overseas because there's no place for him here it's not that gresham can't get over no gresham is over this dude this prick that you were talking to he don't he doesn't know wrestling he probably knows wwe and that's not wrestling he probably knows AEW from indie stuff and all the indie stuff. That's not pro wrestling. And Gresham can decimate anybody he gets in the ring with, no matter what size they are. And this is that's, on a legitimate factor, not just a show. This yeah, is legit. That's the beauty of it. And <laughs> but he but his performance and the caliber and the quality of his work is so good that if he loses to any of the jack holes, save here on AEW. It's just not believable. It's not. It's not believable. You know what he can do. Gresham losing. Look, here's a, on AEW's roster. Who could Gresham lose to? And it makes sense. And I want and these and these names are important. All right. He could lose to Eddie Kingston. Not many people will like him too much, but I know what Eddie Kingston can do, and I've seen his style even in a work ethic environment. So I know what he can do. Okay, but let's go onward. You've also got CM Punk. You got Brian Danielson. You're losing him. Christian Cage. You know, these are people that he can lose to, and it's all right because they would know how to make it look good. You know, when you got stars like that, that's, you know, I'm not naming everybody, you know, I mean, come on now, FTR in general. If you lost to one of them, it would make sense. But everybody else is almost an upstart. It don't matter. They, just because you've been wrestling 10 years don't mean you know how to wrestle. You know, Dante Martin. Do not like him. He sucks. I haven't seen him wrestle yet. I've watched, what, seven, eight of his matches. I haven't seen him wrestle yet. I have not seen Dante Martin wrestle. You show me him wrestling, and I'll be like, okay, let me watch this match. But I have not seen Dante Martin wrestle. You know why? Because most likely he was influenced, you know, by, by, by that jack-off, you know, the aerial assassin. And that's probably why. You got people like that. You know, you haven't seen Kenny Omega in a while. Maybe he's learning how to wrestle. No. Yeah. Ego and bullshit is too high for that. But your friend, not friend, but this person that says he can't make it, he can't get over. No, he was over. He was over. Someone that small was able to, they, they you know, they worked the match. And he was, you know, the pure champion for a while. Pure skills, wrestling champion. And you know what? Now the NWA... You know, it seems to be what's left of an actual professional wrestling company because the only one other than that was Ring of Honor. They're adopting certain things of old school traditional stuff. And it shows the difference between now and back then for choices of moves. You can't go to the top rope. Middle rope and bottom rope, they are fine. You can't jump over the you can't jump off the top rope. You can't throw anyone over the top rope. You know, things get strict. They get, you know, honestly, old school strict. And when you have a lot of rules like that, and you see people play, people play by the rules, you get behind them. And it makes it a lot easier to see who a heel is. And they say they can't get over in wrestling today. I'm going to tell you this. You can tell people this. Any old school wrestler wrestling, wrestling today, heel or babyface, if you brought them from anywhere of the, the, the 1930s 
to the 19 mid 1980s and you use them today in their prime with the knowledge that they have or would have if they were alive they would blow up they would get over heel would be booed out of the universe the baby face people you know just drooling over them women flashing breasts to get their attention waiting for them after the arena after, after the event is over they would get over you the person that you was talking to don't know what over means it doesn't mean if they're popular it means if they are believed if you are believed then people get behind you or they get after you if you are believed nobody can get over today nobody it's damn near impossible and i know why but I, I don't think that's what this one should really be about but yeah that that guy that you call the prick if you listen to this i agree you're a prick just saying something like that you're small therefore you can't get over that's the kind of toxic mindset that ruins everything anyway it's like a size queen to me or just a queen and I don't mean that in the anti LGBTQ I'm just talking about him being weak in general I don't care what you I don't care if you you know T-bone and skillet from prison you know 6'9 and 400 a solid muscle you, you weak if you got this stupid mindset and I don't care if you're a woman that's 6'3 solid muscle and you know 195 pounds you got this mindset you're weak you're just weak because you're stupid. And wrestling seems to be inundated by stupid people. I guess you fit right in now, wouldn't you? That, I mean, that's up in a nutshell, man. You know, Zimo Tums too. Anyone out there? You know, Marco Stunt and people his size, there's a place in wrestling, and it's not the sideshow, and it's not the attraction. There's a way to do it and legitimize it and they would get over they really would but nobody's going to do it that way nobody cares <sighs> and that sucks because you want to wrestle you should be able to wrestle somewhere somehow but it's all it's it's it's, it's all good for now because nothing's going to change until someone make it change or someone's make it change change is easy but coming together to make that change, uh, that's where it gets hard. Because people don't want to come together. They just want things to happen without doing anything. I'm angry, so make a change. No. You got to hit them pockets. You got to hit that social media. You got to start a small movement, and then the wrestling will say, yeah, I hear you. Let's do this. That's why I do what I do. Because y'all got questions. Y'all, you want answers? I'm gonna do this. So I hope I, I hope I answered, you know, your questions. And if you know, you got more questions that stem from this, or anyone else out there got questions. And if you hate what I'm doing, you hate what I'm saying, but you still want to ask me a question, even weird ones. You know, it'd be like, why are you such an asshole? You know, give me a reason. Give, give me a thing on where I'm being the asshole. Ask the question. I'll most likely answer it. You know. You might not like the answer, but I will validate you if, if you come across decent enough to be validated. And that's not some crap I'm spewing. No, you er, noob, you dumb, why? I, just, I ain't gonna lie, I would have to fight to not delete that. You know, so just keep that in mind. So that has been Cedric and Cedric for CR Wrestling Commentary answering viewers. Y'all stay safe, all right? Keep yourself and others safe. Glove up, mask up, wash up, all that. So with that said, good night, everyone, and see you next time. And ask more questions because we got answers. Bye-bye.